Today, two things. First, I'm parked right outside of a Halal Guys. Two, I've never had a beef chicken combo Euro sandwich from a Halal Guys. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Oh my god. Super <laughs> gloomy, wet, gross ass Chicago day. But we got the halal guys. Coat's coming off. I'm getting comfy. Just get all fat and sassy. Buying today's lunch, making this one possible, Mr. Alex Husko. <laughs> Alex wrote 10 bucks, the goods. So now the federal government, when I claim that up my taxes, is gonna think I'm selling drugs. Did I say crack? Cause I got more mm -hmm. of that you said too. Crack ready. I got some ibuprofen, aspirin, I got Flintstone gummies if you want. And in a way, sometimes YouTube videos, kind of a drug. Alex has done a lot of $10 donations, doesn't want anything in return, but I'm making him a video today. Alex, I love you buddy. And for you, we got extra white sauce, and we got extra hot red sauce at Halal Guys, if you know, you know. I've only had Halal Guys twice in my life. And there's one very close to my apartment in the Gold Coast neighborhood, and I drive and walk by it all the time, and I think to myself, I should get that this week. And then a week goes by, I should get that next week. And I've said that for a year and a half. So today, because of Alex, we're finally getting the beef and chicken Combination. Honestly, shawarma sandwiches are kind of like coming. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. Terrible impression. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up. Halal Guys has, I think, probably the best aluminum foil, not because of the design necessarily. There's something about this texture that's just better. And if you go to Chipotle often, it's just standard. Aluminum foil, this aluminum foil is just better. I don't know why. It's a stupid thing to review. When you open this up, this is kind of what it looks like. You just see a lot of the lettuce and tomatoes first, but it's just a fat ass euro for 10 bucks. I've never had chicken from there, only the beef. As the saga goes, Halal Guy started on the street corner of 53rd and 6th in Manhattan. Just a little Halal food cart. That was in 1990 and now you can franchise it. So they're in California, Texas, the Philippines, Indonesia, Washington DC, and also right here in Chicago, Illinois. And it's really, really good. Hey Alex, look, your money made a video. Cheers my friend. The meat is so tender. I eat a lot of euros in Chicago. Very much like a guilty pleasure when I've had a few pops. Pops. Having it sober, delightful. <laughs> the critique I've always had with it is just make sure you get extra packets of sauce. Kind of like Raisin Cane's, like their sauce might be better than the food. Big ol' hunk of the red. <laughs> That stuff has such a good kick. Hot enough where I'm gonna get the, the hiccups. Mmm. Woo! Burning. Just give me the cheese, I'll make the smoke it, y'all. Smoke it, y'all. I like a little pain when I eat. The red sauce isn't for everyone. We call the hot sauce 911 because it's <laughs> very, very spicy. I personally have not tasted it. <laughs> what? Do you guys have a Euro place in your town where you live that's like by far the best? In my fiance's hometown of Bowling Green, Ohio, I did a video at Southside Six. It's this like place that shouldn't be a restaurant. It's like a little just like hut on the side of the road that I think just sells like beer and liquor, but they're like, hey, we have Euros here too. It's so good. White sauce packets are hefty. A little more of the white. Ugh. Don't say it like that. This will cool me down. This creamy substance is a combination of mayo, black pepper, vinegar, salt, and a few other ingredients. Nothing like some soybean oil for lunch. <laughs> I remember as like a kid growing up, like the grab and go sandwich thing at Subway, I thought was like the coolest thing, like getting the Italian BMT and customizing it. And my little white palate sitting there and going, I had Italian dressing and salt and pepper on this one. <laughs> now I'm like, if it's not like food basically from another culture, it has no flavor. <laughs> what do you know? Mm. More red sauce. I really didn't know how I'd like the beef and chicken together. Like I thought that was kind of weird. It's actually really good. 
The beef is more flavorful. The Halal Guys red sauce, hot sauce, is a definitely a top 10 tier sauce for me. But I thought I would use this video to give my current top five favorite fast food sauces that you can get. And as you watch this, type your five. Now these are in no specific order. They're just the five, my five favorites, what I think the best. I can't believe I finished this already. I should have gotten two. Seven girls just walked by, all wearing the same like fuzzy bucket hat. I don't think it's a bachelorette party because it's 1230. <laughs> well, maybe. My five are Raisin Cane's Cane Sauce, Popeye's Mardi Gras Mustard, KFC's Buttermilk Ranch over Jets. Yeah, I said it. Whataburger's Spicy Ketchup. And the last one, the one that does not get enough credit, Little Caesar's Crazy Sauce. Comes in a goddamn bucket. That list changes for me like every month, but right now, that's my five. Comment yours. Halal Guys Hot Sauce is probably like eight, nine. It's a top 10. Also, shout out to Jay Loomis for super thanksing. Hey, Sean Ely, why don't you go ahead and yourself. JK, love your channel. <laughs> I love you, Josh. <laughs> He's really passionate about what I thought about mini muffins. One last little wipe down here. Don't forget to bring a towel. What? Oh yeah. The Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal, if you want to help the show, if you want to buy me lunch, and then I'll make a video. You can tell me what to get, or I can just go ahead and whatever I'm craving in that moment, because I was craving that today, and it's now in my stomach region. Somebody commented on an old video, so it like popped up to me on my like newer comments that said, this gay guy is too picky. <laughs> it was when I had the Del Taco cheeseburger, and I didn't really think it was that great. Some really Del Taco-ian was like, I don't like that this guy's kind of flamboyant a little bit, and I'm gonna call him gay, and I don't, he's too picky. I normally get knocked for being way too accepting of everything. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching me smash the beef and chicken shawarma sandwich from Halal Guys. Halal Guys up. Halal Guys. This guy's gay. <laughs> Down. Be good to each other. Love ya. Sounds like something a guy would say to a girl when he can't get the job done. <laughs> Vibrator joke!